Yo, so there's been a lot of APRO online uh, about actually the event that happened the other day in Zimbabwe uh, by Passion Java. So there's a clip I'm about to play for you from Prof. Lovi and he's actually uh, speaking about that event. Uh, he's speaking about now the number of the people who are actually in attendance in that event because that has been quite that has been quite a story uh, and so many people and so many uh, blogs have seen that and uh some people have termed it as uh, they have said that the event had flopped and everything uh, I, I i did a video i saw your comments on that video and uh, someone said that even if it's one person who attended then definitely they still a part in heaven if that person really received jesus and that was quite an eye opener let's just be real that is that was dope. That was very dope. But a uh, good thing is that uh, now Prophet Lovi is actually speaking about it. He's uh, speaking about also who he was in attendance with. So let's get in the video and then we'll just uh, talk more about it later on. So, yeah. I took uh, uh, my son with me. My son travels with me every time I can sneak, snatch him out of school. I take him with me. Why do I do that? I do that because... These memories are memories that he will remain with for the rest of his life. School will always be there. I may not. So you share every moment is precious. I still remember the trips I took with my mom and dad. I remember wow. the aeroplane ride I had with my father and mother when I was three years old. I remember it. We were leaving from uh, Nairobi going to Tanzania because my father had a gig. He had a performance. I still remember it with, clearly, vividly. I remember sitting between them, and it was just the three of us. My other siblings were in school, and they took me. So I remember that. I remember the trips I would take with my mom to, to uh, uh, Namanga, which is the border of Tanzania and Kenya. She would go and buy Maasai stuff, would drive and go back. I remember all those things. So I take those moments precious. So I, take my son out, I took my son out of school. I took my little brother, Chaz. I took... Um, Mike Dupree, my other, my first spiritual son, uh, Charles Jackson came with me, uh, and uh, Pastor AJ came with me, but I feel like I'm missing other people. Jeremy, Jeremy. oh yeah, Jeremy yeah. came with me also. I think there was one more person, but I can't remember, but I think that's about it. So we all went, and uh, we went to... Um, I took them, I was filming something, other than um, preaching, I, I took them to to like one, like as before you get to the slums, there's a little level above the slums. But I didn't tell them, and I took them there because that's where I was going to film. <laughs> and they could not believe what they saw. They could not believe people are living like that. And I told them, guys, this is not even the bottom. This is before the bottom. And they were like, what? I said, yep. And I told them, if you look at these kids playing here, I was one of these kids. If it wasn't for the grace of God, if it wasn't for the mercy of God, I would still be among them. Wow. I'll still be there. It is God by his mighty hand that took me out of them. The, everyone was shocked. They said, you know, now the things you tell us are in perspective. We get it now. So when I dress nice, I buy my stuff. Listen, I don't care what anybody thinks. I know where I came from. And my heart to give and to give is also because of where I came from. But remember, it can also make you stingy. Yeah, for sure. But I chose differently. If I believe that to be necessary, I would not be doing the mass deliverances I'm doing. Yeah, so this is the part that when I, I went to Zimbabwe, speaking about the attendance. When I went to Zimbabwe, uh, um, uh, my mentor had a stadium of 150,000 people. And he was believing that all these souls were going to come. But I believe he had about 30,000 30, people. That's still a big number. Most people can do that. That's still a lot of people. Now, you tell me how you're going to deliver 30,000 people if you need all of them to repent. 
You can lead them into repentance, but how will you know that repentance is genuine? Oh, yeah. So uh, the number was an approximate of uh, 30,000 people. They actually estimate, according now, you've heard Prophet Lovi say that uh, his mentor, that is now Passion Java, had estimated uh, probably around 150,000. Uh, actually, that is the reason why some people maybe feel that uh, maybe it was a flop or ETC XYZ. But as a person of the Spirit, as a person of the Spirit, the gospel, you know, Bible says even if one receives the gospel, definitely there is a great party in heaven. So it can't be a flop. If only if only that event was just organized just for one person, then definitely it can't be a flop. And uh, something that uh, also that is very interesting is just the closeness of Prophet Lovi and uh, Passion Java. So that is the mentor and the mentee. So they have always just been very, very close together. And and, Pro, and Prophet Lovi has always been very, very as well loyal to uh, Passion Java. So that is something that uh, is of actually of, of great lesson. That is something of great lesson. And uh, then again, staying connected to the anointing. Because uh, there's so many people when they get anointed, probably in a certain ministry, and everything is working out for them. Uh, the blessings are coming all through. And then now they start uh, to actually, uh, st starting. It's, l l let me just say, start to act prideful in that ministry. Start to act prideful. They act like they're too busy for the, for the pastors, too busy now for services and everything. And uh, yeah, that is not the way. That is not the way. You should always stay connected. Definitely, there's always more. You see, there's always more. And God... And and God honors that. God honors that and blesses and rewards that. Yeah. So that is up about that event. Yeah, there's been a lot of apro, yo. There's been a lot of apro about that event from Zimbabwe. A lot of apro. But guys, you you've heard it from Prophet Lovi on the number of people that actually attended that event. But then again, even if it was just set there for just one or one to receive the gospel, or one to, uh, for whatever purpose God had for them, then it was definitely worth it. So, uh, let me know what you think about this. What do you think about this? What do you think about this? And uh, something, something then again, I've, uh, that is quite an eye opener is uh, Lovi's story of the way that he's traveling with his son everywhere he goes, especially on the big platforms just for him to create those memories and memorable moments, that is something very striking. You know, we've grown up in, uh, in different ways, but uh, sometimes parents are always like, they try to keep kids away from their work. Like they, 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 uh, they actually keep kids away. But you see now, Prophet Lovi is there with his son. Actually, that is, a, that is a very good way of mentoring them as well and just showing them how things are moving and everything and... Uh, yeah, they'll definitely learn much better practically rather than in stories or n now when their time comes and then now they're trying to practice and or experience these things just by themselves. So that one, that one, kudos, that one, kudos, that one, kudos. So give an applause to that. That is quite amazing. Yeah, so uh, give the video a like. Most definitely, if you haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay blessed.